You're sleeping on the couch tonight. No! Ugh. Ugh. Mushy. Welcome back, gay schools, and everyone in between to our YouTube channel, The, the Horror Bandwagon. Mr. Gio. And my name is Cody. And we are boys for heart analysis. Criticism. And spooky. Ooh, yeah. And sometimes kooky. Entertainment. And welcome back to another movie night reaction. Tonight, we're going to be watching 1981's Evil Dead. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm a complete lover of the original one. I used to see it all the time when I was a younger kid. Don't judge my family. Yes, they let me watch that whole film on my own. But I haven't seen Evil Dead 2 or Army of Darkness, but we did see the remake together. Yes, and it's the only one in the franchise that I have actually seen. So this is gonna be a lot of fun. Now to make things a little bit messier, uh, we decided that we're gonna be doing a drinking game for each of these movies. Mm -hmm. We're gonna start off with Evil Dead and we have some rules that we're gonna abide by. Now onto the rules to the reaction. We are gonna be drinking every time someone reads from the Necronomicon. There's a close up of Ash's face. There's a shot of the cabin and when a scene is in the monster's point of view. But of course, we have to say this, please drink responsibly. You do not have to play this game. We are playing it just for ourselves and just to have fun with this movie. But of course, always drink responsibly and safely. Yes, and if you wanna drink whatever your drink of choice is along with us and play this game together, you can go over to our Patreon. But before we get into it, y'all know what to do. Make sure that you like this video, subscribe to our channel, and click that notification bell so you get notified every time we post a new video. And don't forget to join us on our Discord where you can talk about the Evil Dead and anything else that's on your mind. But without further ado, let's get evil. Oh, it's I, already unnerving. I feel like you could just smell the smelly smells. <gasps> the evil dead. The silence is kind of drawing. I mm -hmm. didn't realize how silent it was. <gasps> Monsters POV. Drinky drink. <laughs> cheers, cheers everybody. All the songs that we've sung together after all the sweet Nova storm. Does she need a backup dancer? Cause I'm ready. <laughs> I always this... thought this song was the Flintstones song. Really? <laughs> Flintstones meet the Flintstones. I, I can see it. It's close. Now, I know later on in this film, it's going to like, um, it's going to look like these actors have gone through some torturous things and mm. Uh, they probably did, but I think it would be so much fun to just like hang out with your friends and film a movie that'll later yeah. become like a, an iconic franchise. Shot of the cabin. Now, do we get any explanation about like whose cabin this is? Do they just like rent this? Is it a family cabin? I actually don't know. Do they just drive off? This into is the an Airbnb before Airbnb was Airbnb. Because this, this looks really sketch. This shot always reminds me of Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Got some ass shots. Love it. You also have a swing swinging on its own. You haven't even walked into the cabin yet. Dangerous bridge swinging swing. Yeah, don't go in the cabin. What? <laughs> it's supposed to be one of these on here. Now remember, babe, this is like the start of like the quintessential cliche of teenagers go to a cabin and weird shit happens. Mm -hmm. So dusty. Mm -hmm. so it's, like, is that dust or is that just like- It looks like smoke. smoke. Ooh, that's bright. 
I didn't notice power lines. Ooh, I feel like this movie is going to be a movie you pick apart. Oh, no, girl. Guys, strap in. Strap in. <laughs> hey. 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 Uh, hey. <laughs> Come on. You don't think, like, little me was like, he's hot. Reason number 46 why you should let me ride. I'm not saying you're wrong. <laughs> I was more thinking, like, now all your stuff is dirty. It's on the ground. You could have just carried it from the trunk inside. That's fair. But you got to be playful a little bit before the horrendous things happen. None of this strikes you like it's not okay. I forget, I think this movie takes place in, in one night. Spooky wookie. Mm hmm. Don't you just hate it when a ghost is just making you stay outside the lines? She's drawing the book of the Necronomicon. Yeah, that's like very creepy. The <laughs> idea that you're just like being forced to draw so hard that you're like. Ripping through the, through the paper. Yeah, was that there the whole time? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> I just love like the monster movie Party City soundtrack. Go back to Party City where you belong. What is this? The clock also looks like it was stuck on the same time as when she was drawing it. It's probably just some animal. An animal. <laughs> that is the stupidest thing I ever heard of. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I never got, I feel like you're just being a dick to be a dick. Yeah. Like, yeah, you're probably right. Probably just some animal. He literally was just like, animal, you stupid bitch, dumbass. What? Who else? Who would think of that? <laughs> like, every insult in the book. Like, girl, chill. Goner. Done. I bet he's going to pop up and like try to scare them because that is exactly what you would do in the scenario. Scotty. Scotty doesn't know. Scotty! Icons, look at these fierce three women. Mm -hmm. We're gonna carry this movie. Scott! Linda, give me a flashlight. Oh, well, that's the only one we brought up. Then get the lantern. Five people, one flashlight. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why. <laughs> they obviously did, did not, this was on the wing. Like they, they were just like, let's pick up our things and go. So you're not going to catch me in any basements whatsoever. I mean, there's just something about basements that are creepy. In our house growing up, it was the same thing. Mm -mm, we're renovating. We're we're putting in carpet, we're walls, bathroom. It's, it's going to be a gaming room. It's giving me Blair Witch vibes. Mm -hmm. See, but then also knowing you, you would like want to get a copy of the Necronomicon to put in the basement. Oh, yes. I'm surprised I don't have one right now. Oh, close up. Close up of Ash. Because look, look at those dreamy eyes and the defined, like, eyebrows. eyebrows. Yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> right? <laughs> What are these things? Potatoes? They look like gourds. I don't know what that means. Gourds are like pumpkins? Yeah, like the things that. I'm the gourd oh. lord. Gourd queen. <laughs> gourd lord was better. <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Cast him as the Joker already. <laughs> I'd, I'd fucking lock you in the basement for doing that to me. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if you just punched me in the face in that moment. <laughs> Was that a The Hills Have Eyes poster? Mm-hmm. I bet this still shoots. Probably does. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> God. Yeah, Why no. are they friends with him? He seems like a dick. There it is. 
Book. Sick tattoos, man. This guy was a tattoo artist. Oh. Is that a demon butt? That was a demon butt. It was a nice butt. I wonder if there are people who like have tattoos from the Necronomicon. Oh, I'm certain. That'd be pretty cool. Gotta say that is pretty badass. This kind of looks like your old girlfriend. <laughs> 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 Again, constant bro laughs. I wonder if there's fan fiction out there of just like Ash and Scotty in the basement. Like, then they slowly made out. It probably exists. Listen to this. This is the tape I found downstairs. So, fun fact is that Wes Craven saw that Sam Raimi put a poster of his movie. Mm -hmm. So, as a result, he put... Uh, Nancy watching Evil Dead in a Nightmare on Elm Street. Ooh. As a thank you. I believe I have made a significant find in the Kandarian runes, a volume of ancient Kandarian. Sumerian burial practices. I always thought that that meant that they're from Canada. <laughs> so I was like, why are they specifically Canada demons? <laughs> it deals with demons, demon resurrection, and those forces which roam the far. Matt Demon. Matt Damon. <laughs> Through recitation of these passages, that the demons are given license to. All right, all this shit is happening, and you're and you're like, yeah, let's keep. No, they're still okay. They're like, thank you. We're not gonna have our night ruined. Okay, but don't tell me that like, I will be so about it. If I was at a cabin and creepy shit was happening, I'd be like, okay, let's get our blankets together and like just listen to scary stories. It was this really? fucking guy on this thing. I mean, granted, how were they supposed to know that this was going to happen? All right. PSA. <laughs> All right. If you're in a cabin that mysteriously has electricity, even though there's no power lines anywhere, and you find a recorder... And a book that is wrapped in human flesh, written in human blood, with a recording that literally says... Tells you, okay, fine. This book supposedly summons demons. You stop listening to the tape. You just turn it off. That's it. I don't know. You calmly walk to your car. I mean, granted, I also wouldn't step foot near a Ouija board, so maybe I wouldn't do it. Mm -mm, never. Listen. Why don't we stay up for a while and listen to the storm? All right, yeah. Let me check on Cheryl first. Why is it so out of focus? Like, <laughs> because it's season one of Drag Race. We oh. <laughs> oh, oh. Still got it. Damn, girl. Yes, crawl for me, Ash. What well, what this movie needs is a shirtless Ash. That's what I'm just saying. Anyways, what? So two things now, because I love that he he just has the ring like free floating in in the box, and he's like, ho ho ho. <laughs> <laughs> And now he's dead. <laughs> he just but also, asleep. he's like, how about we just stay up and listen to the storm? I love it. You love that. You would love that. Yeah, but you would hate it. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> She's plotting and scheming. Because she almost looks like <laughs> scared. Oh, it is cute. I think it's a cute little necklace. I mean, I don't wear necklaces, but I'd be honored if you gave me that. Oh. Monsters POV. Oh, oh, I didn't know there was nudity here. Also, I, I'm glad that she did not say anything to anybody about what she experienced it, like with the with the pen, the paper. Yeah, did she like not notice that that book was the book that she drew? Yeah. Man, look at how huge that moon is. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> she could just grab it. <laughs> This is like that scene in, what is it, Bruce Almighty, where he like pulls mm. the moon super close mm -hmm. and then a bunch of tsunamis destroy 
a bunch of places. Yeah, not good. Also, girl, do you have, are you going barefoot? Like, yep, just uh-uh. leaving the house. I don't know about you, but if we're in the middle of nowhere and I imagine that I see something outside, I'm not going outside. No, or at least I'm taking someone with me. POV. The woods are alive with the sound of disturbing. <laughs> I I gotta say, this is probably the most controversial part of the whole movie. Yeah, I can understand why. I can't imagine what this girl had to go through to be like out here in the cold. Oh God, this is never good. I gotta say, they really invested in this one scene. Yeah. I remember when I was little, I always skipped this part. <laughs> there you go, girl. Get out of there. Yeah. <sighs> you always have to, like, fall in the woods. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I just like, I want to get in the mind of Sam Raimi when he was just like sitting down and just like, you know what? At this point, the trees are going to come alive and do despicable things to this woman. I feel like this is like an homage to like Halloween. Why do they put the keys back on top of the thing? Yeah, where everybody, anybody could just come over and grab them. Oh! Ah! Ash, you don't want to say something first? Like, hey, I see you there. I down! I want to get out of here. I want to leave this place right now. Right now, Ashley. Wait a minute. Correct move? There you go. There's nothing out there. Trees do not attack people. Ashley! Will you drive me into town or not? But right now? I do got to say also, Ash, I feel like is an awesome name. I would consider it for to name our child Ash. Because it also could be Ashley. Mm-hmm. Hey, you can stay somewhere in town tonight. Man, no one cares about Cheryl. They're like, fuck you, Cheryl. Yeah, it's not very nice. Even Ash, her own brother, was just like, nah, you can stay somewhere, I guess. That is a cool shot. Yeah. I mean, they obviously see that she's been marked up and, like, cut. Like, her clothes are ripped. Yeah, it's not good. It's a good thing those ancient Kandarian demons know how cars work. I know it's not going to start. It's not going to let us leave. Jesus, Ash. Ash was like, yeah, and you were saying, uh, that's the look that Cody gives me whenever I'm like, but babe. (laughs) False. Why are you stopping? Wait here a minute. Is there something wrong with like the bridge? I don't like all the creaking going on. Yeah, I also don't like that he's like at an angle. This is cool though. Yeah, why is he walking like he's walking diagonally? I just realized that. I love this Ashley. soundtrack, though. All these, like, weird, like... Mm-hmm. <laughs> Ashley? It's just, like, even though this is really low budget... You can you can tell like there's still so much good cinematography. Yeah. Like Not, so good at just making you feel uneasy. Yeah, exactly. That means this was like a skilled director mm-hmm. working with, with what he had and still making something out of it. Oh shit. Oh wow. And that actually almost looks like a hand like holding you in. Look at you. I have I haven't even picked that up. This movie also has such like a rewatch value for me. Like I would love to see this 
at like a late night drive through theater. Oh, yes. You know? In the middle of the woods. <gasps> yes. Oh, and of course, headlights looking like eyes just watching you. I love this. I mean, you gotta admit, that was gorgeous looking. Yes. Right? My wife is Stop. To a he hasn't really read from the, Ken the, the Necronomicon. I can't even say it anymore. I'm drunk. But he did. He's reading from the Necronomicon right now? Well, yeah, he already did in the last one. I know, but right now is he doing that? He's no. just commenting on that. Okay, so we're not drinking. Um, diamonds. Uh, no, no, wait. Um, hearts. Oh, my God. Seven of hearts. You're right. Hey. <laughs> to she can do magic tricks. Jack of diamonds. Jack of clubs. <laughs> oh, fuck. Yes, queen. The queen has arrived. Like the others before you. One by one, we will take you. Hot. I loved it. Ash, she's your sister. You should be the first one there. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right in there. Right in there. <laughs> Supersonic strength. Yes, girl, whip that hair. <laughs> okay, is anyone gonna do something? Like, imagine having a pencil go through you, touching your bone, mm -mm. and then going in. Mm -mm. Man, it's such a good thing that this basement hatch has a thing, like a chain right there. It's almost like this has happened but, before. Oh, I thought you were actually being serious. I was like, <laughs> babe, it's because it's happened before. <laughs> I mean, you got to also give this movie credit. Like, I know there's a lot of people actually that don't like this movie because of how low budget it is. But I just appreciate it so much more because... There's nothing CGI about this. Yeah, look at everything they did. Everything is like super practical. Could you get lead poisoning from a pencil in your in your skin? Well, I mean, not anymore because it's graphite inside, not lead. I like once stabbed myself with a pencil, and I have a mark from it when I was little, and I always thought there was lead growing in my skin. Well, it wouldn't grow. I feel like everyone has like a mark that they always like, where did that come from? You're just gonna sit there and watch her? Yeah, you're not gonna question anything? Like, I'd be fucking panicking. I still have a few more hours before morning. I don't think I can wait that long. But I also realized that Ash didn't tell them that the bridge and everything has just collapsed. Oh, this is all POV. Oh, POV. <laughs> what the fuck we doing? We're so engrossed in the movie, we're forgetting <laughs> to drink. Oh, POV. Oh, goodness. POV. There's so many. And y'all were probably wondering why we cut down on some of the rules. We would have just been drinking straight. Na, 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 na. Come on. I think there's something out there. Why asking Scotty? Scotty doesn't know. You guys drink whenever we make a Scotty <laughs> doesn't know reference. We've said it so many times this this episode. <laughs> Don't sound like a cat. Ash, are you gonna go in and check on your girl? Uh, Ash wasn't like the hero that we know now in this movie. And you had a crush on this man. I. Well, <laughs> I slowly, I slowly started to be seducted by him. Like he started to seduce me. You just know that Ash, and honestly, Scotty too, just had the hairiest bush because it was like Ooh. 70s, 70s, 80s. Mm hmm. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Just so much tetanus everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> you fucking ass 
asshole. No. <laughs> I can't help it. This is I'm sorry. one of the rules. I'm sorry. I will quit the channel right now. I'm sorry. I can't help myself. At least it, it wasn't during like a really intense moment. You're sleeping on the couch tonight. No. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I commit it. I'm sorry. Why does this look like it's a tent? Like, why do the walls just look like? Oh, probably, it's... probably because it is. <laughs> Another jump scare. Okay, we're safe. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. I love that they still carry like fabulous nails. <laughs> Oh, burn, baby, burn. burn. And those hot coals burning my pretty flesh. She's so sweet. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I'll wait my turn. <laughs> I just love how, like, animalistic they are, you know? Ash fucking keeps getting slapped. Bitch slapped every time. He still can't get up. He's like... I'm telling you, these women carried this movie. Uh huh. <gasps> Did she just crack her neck? Her uh huh. Neck? This one has a little sweetness to it. Oh, by your own hands. Uh huh. Girl. Oh, yeah. These sounds are fucking crazy, right? Yeah. Yo, get it, girl. Performance. All right, so the brava. evil knife kills the Kandarian demons. Brava, brava. Put the axe down, take the knife, stab other girl. But they're also like, remember, they're in, they're conflicted because they're actually people that they know. They can't just kill them. All right, never mind. I ain't done yet. <laughs> I ain't done yet, girl. There you go, grab it. Oh, this guy did not care. It was like, I don't care if you're my girlfriend. I'm killing the fuck out of you. <laughs> it's close up a bash. Look at this Whoa. gush. This guy. And you can all imagine how they did this, right? They like put holes into the floor mm -hmm. and then just like had different people like wiggling their hands. We're gonna bury her. You can't bury Shelly. Is that why? She's a friend of ours. Yeah, she's dead. She's a bits and pieces right now. I forgot the other girl's name. So it's Shelly, Cheryl. Cheryl is Shandle? Ash's sister. <laughs> Shangela is not in this. I want to say Linda is the other one. Oh, uh, yes. Is it Linda? I think so. Man, it is so nice that the forest just like has these extra spotlights hanging around for... Oh, yeah. <laughs> Outside. It's just like... Football game stadium slides. Mm -hmm. And I suppose you could say, well, Cody, it's the he car's headlights. And I would say, you may be correct. Oh, Daddy Woods did not like that. <laughs> Daddy was like, I'm going to get you. Linda's still sleeping. Linda! Hey, I'm like? getting out of here. I was right. Or some other way around the cliff. I mean, there's got to be another way besides the bridge. Now, Probably. what would you do? Would you travel over or would you? Because you risk at your car not working and then you're stuck in the middle of the woods. Would you rather be in this house or not in this house right now? Mm, I don't know. She's your girlfriend. You take care of her. I'm getting the hell out of here right now. I just feel like the correct move, but you've already been wounded. But so Scotty's going to Scotty. 
Scotty doesn't know, though. Don't make the people <laughs> drink on this. I want an official Scotty doesn't know count. <laughs> <laughs> in the lower right-hand corner. And the thing is, I've only seen Euro Trip once in my life. Oh, my God. I w- I've watched it so many times. It was one of my favorite movies in college. You should get out of there, dude. Oh! Yes, Twitch and T, tw- uh, Queen. See here, I was going to say how nice that they could just use the Wicked Witch of the West uh, sound from the oh, Wizard of Oz. Shit, my bur- oh, shit. Ash, people are falling like flies right now. Nobody's mm-hmm. safe. <laughs> Do you think if I played her noises in an empty room while it's dark and you're like going to bed, would you be okay with that? No? Okay. Cheryl was right. Oh, we're all gonna die here. No, we're not gonna die. We're all gonna- this is where you just lock the door, set the place on fire, just burn it down. Well, no, because Daddy Woods is still coming at you like, I wanna get you. Yeah, but you know what Daddy Woods is? What? Flammable. Just burn it all to the ground. Mm-hmm. Scott! <laughs> Dude, he's literally fucked up. I don't want to die. Is that bone sticking out of his arm? Yeah. I don't know how it happened, but... Don't you see? Ash, they're alive! (laughs) Scotty gave me, like, Pinocchio vibes there for some reason. I'm a real boy, I swear. Shut up! (laughs) Hey. Hey. Another one. I'm telling you guys, the the women of Evil Dead in this movie carried it. The performance were phenomenal. Mm -hmm. Oh, Ash, help me, please. Now, do you think this is the demon being um, fucked up? For sure. Okay. For sure. Let me out of here. Ashley? Ash, help me. I feel like the demon is like, you're stealing my bit, girl. This is what I was doing. Uh-huh. Man, I really hope we pan over and we see the other girl who's in like six pieces just be like, it's okay. I'm fine. Just hide up from the floor. Just a little dirty. <laughs> <laughs> girl, you can't be that gullible. Apparently he, he has. He forgets he's in a horror movie. It's okay. Uh. <laughs> That's how she normally sounds on the phone. <laughs> so they ran out of budget and they were like, we're not going to put stuff makeup on you. We're just going to like pretty fire you a little bit. Imagine being dragged out like this. Oh my God. (laughs) Fucking commitment to the Uh bit. Mm. Now we got wet hair, Ash. Oh yes. We'll all be going home together. (laughs) Wouldn't you like to be going home? He's doing great. He can't hold his liquor. I'm sorry. (laughs) Yeah, it's time to wake up, bud. I love that they drew eyelashes they the on eyelashes her. Of it. I hate when people do that. It's like grab onto the blade. Why? <laughs> Close up of Ash. Oh. In this movie, monsters come through their mouth. Oh my God. <laughs> But only when they've been stabbed. Well, I just get demonetized because I said the word cum, but there's like blood everywhere in this in this movie. Man, if only there's some way for us to like edit the things that we say. No, we're going to say cum. Cum, 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 cum. Oh my God. The person on the camera like, okay, I gotta follow that. Mm-hmm. 
<gasps> oh, look at her. That's a really cool shot. That was fucking scary. <gasps> yes! He's got to start by filleting off the boobs. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> he remembers. I do love that everything in this thing has been like rusted, dusted, mm -hmm. and the the chainsaw is like super brand new. Yep. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Yo, Linda does not quit. She's like, let's fucking go. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, she's, she's playing pretend. She's like, no, I'm dead. <laughs> I'm dead, daddy. <laughs> I can't. Yeah, you keep digging my grave. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, daddy, just play in. I need like Michelle Branch's song. Goodbye to you. See Goodbye here, I thought, to I thought we were just gonna go with um, what's her name? So I don't know. Sarah McLaughlin, who's like in the arms, arms of, of an, an angel. angel. But wait, how did that get out there? Oh, they did add some prosthetics to her face. Mm -hmm. This is me when I get up in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, clawing me alive. No, that's our dog. <laughs> uh. <laughs> the fact that like she let people just bonk her on the head with, with this. <laughs> oh. Fuck yeah, she's been doing some P90X CrossFit. <laughs> she's fucking brolic, bro. And there we have it. See, I, I love these kind of movies where you kind of start with a group of friends and then they eventually turn into these monstrous demons that, like, you just don't know anymore. I really love that. Like, Night of the Demons, Evil Dead, um, not really zombies, but, like, demon demons because they're able, like, they're kind of indestructible. Or the movie Demons. Don't trust it. Never trust a hoe. I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> I was going to say in the famous words of 303. Oh, three. <laughs> don't trust a hoe. Is a hoe don't trust me. Point in there? Yep. I, I was going to say 30 oh, exclamation point three. three. <laughs> Hey, girl. Just thought I'd say hi. <laughs> like crushing insects. <laughs> Who put that there? <laughs> she had all this time in the cellar to booby trap everything. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you just see like a banana peel. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> She's like Macaulay Culkin. Oh <laughs> <my God. basement. laughs> there was close up. Ash just loves getting creamed on. Oliver, shut up! Oh, how sweet of you. Got to give me the. Well, because at this point they're probably taunt. The woods are taunting him. Mm -hmm. Daddy Woods is like, oh, "Fuck you, Ash." Close up at Ash. It's the close up at Ash that are really gonna fuck you up. We got rid of the wrong rules. <laughs> <laughs> Turns out that Ash just like took some shrooms and killed all his friends. Ah! Ah! 
Isn't that so cool? Like this whole sequence is so fucking awesome. I think it was just a way for Sam Raimi. Like, I kind of want to like do some crazy shit right now. Does that mean that that scene in uh, in Doctor Strange: Multiverse of Madness where she reaches oh, through is that a reference? A, it was a reference. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I took a big gulp. <laughs> At this point, what are you gonna do, Ash? Like, they're all gonna fucking kill you. Heal me. Ugh, mushy. <laughs> you know what I fucking love? Babe, that jump scare would fucking freak me out when I was a kid. When I was a kid, when Scott wakes up, ugh. Also, he blocks the door by moving the desk past the entirely broken <laughs> and open window. Um, there we go. We got some, we got some eye action. Ooh. No, thank you. Oh. oh! He's like, no, I'm leaking. It's just like popping a pimple. All right, the Necronomicon is right by the fire. Just like, throw it in. You think so? What's the worst that could happen? Guess who's back in the house? <laughs> <laughs> Me as a kid thirsting over Ash. Oh, God. Do you think that hurts? Yes, tremendously. <laughs> Oh, and it looks like a face. Oh, yeah. Jesus. Oh, my God. So this is what I was saying. Like, everything is so practical. But honestly, this is stop motion. Yeah. Not CGI. So this is also probably practical, too. Creepy. Damn. Oh. What is that? Risotto? Creamed corn. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? I don't remember this. I'm gonna be hearing join us everywhere. Oh, I hear the birds. It must be all over. I'm sure there's not a final scare. They should make an Evil Dead the ride. Cody, we made it out. We made it out unscathed. Um, drinking game. We were pretty good. I yeah. think we're pretty good. We, yeah. we we stood our ground. We probably missed a ton in between there, but you know what? We were just enthralled by the story. 
And if we had actually like counted every second that we saw a POV from the monster. Oh yeah, there was a lot. We had to count some <laughs> things together. It's, the editing just did not do us any favors. Mm -hmm. um, what did you think? Like your honest review of this movie, because you guys already know my review. I love this movie. I can watch it again and again. I know some people don't like it because of how like low budget and how some things just don't make sense. Uh, but what do you think? I think the way that I would put it is that I can see why Sam Raimi got as big as he is. Okay. Because you can see that, like, even though he doesn't have a huge budget mm -hmm. and, like, top name actors and everything, you can see that he knows what to do with the camera. Yeah. And, like, how to set up shots that, like, I, I just, I, the one that's popping into my head the most is that when. Ash is dragging Linda out and you see him dragging her oh, and then yeah. he it just he drags her out of shot and then Cheryl was just there watching in the background the whole time. Like that kind of setup is just my, you can't beat it. My favorites would have to be the scene where uh Bruce Campbell and um Cheryl are she's freaking out because she's realized that the bridge is no longer there mm -hmm. and they're just alone there and it's just like a spotlight on them in the woods with the beams of the car you don't even see the car just the beams of the car shining yeah. on them that was glorious like i could see that on like a theater stage and see how they can get that to be done i thought that was beautiful yeah fantastic cinematography i think you know there wasn't there wasn't a whole lot about this movie that I could really like nitpick and be like, oh, it's bullshit. I, I will say the beginning part, um, editing performances was a little campy, mm -hmm. low budgety. Like, I don't think that holds up too well. Um, but once like the demon possession and stuff start going, yeah. then it's kind of like, you kind of forget about that stuff. Like the editing in the beginning, it's just so wild and random and it kind of just doesn't fit in. But then once everything starts going, then I'm like ready to go. I'm on board. Yeah, I can 100% see why this is a classic, why it spawned this whole franchise. But this can you can you just imagine, like babe, like think about the trailer that we saw for Evil Dead Rise yeah. and what they have going. And then we see this movie that started it all. Mm -hmm. Like, isn't it just like night and day? Yeah, I mean, but also no, because I still see like, this still gave us a lot of gore. It gave us a lot of gross out moments. Yeah. And I think that that like- Like the, the pencil in the- in the shin yeah or or ash just sticking his thumbs in scotty's eyes so i i really love the origins of evil dead and it's kind of just like an underdog story um because you can tell you could just tell how practical everything was like you could see that there was a cameraman like uh running or following mm -hmm. them or like on their knees like like doing flips and turns everything they did and not only the camera crew but also the actors themselves were mm -hmm. like being so fucking physical just yeah. like that scene where they were dragging linda outside in the like imagine you're like okay well um we're gonna drag you now um bruce is gonna just carry you through the woods and you know let us know if you get hurt like <laughs> what that's crazy yeah i i just think that there's there's I mean, certainly in the beginning, there was some stuff that we were like, why? Like, of course. It's yeah, campy, it it's like, kind of silly. Yeah. But once it starts ramping up, I feel like there wasn't a lot to complain about. The scares were good. The grossness of which I, of course, did not like. But I can, <laughs> I can definitely see how that's appealing to some people. I, I thought overall this was pretty good. I'm really excited to see the next two. Me too. And the only important question that I need answered is when does Ash obtain his chainsaw hand that's true yeah we we got this picture here yes, so we, we we got this we got this t-shirt for free when we got the evil dead the game expansion pack mm -hmm. or like the pack that they came with so um he doesn't even know how that happens <laughs> um anyways guys i hope that you enjoyed our reaction to this i hope you had a great time seeing it how weird we are um while we drink and if you didn't know i had a whole cup of tequila for my drinking mm -hmm. and he had a bunch of red wine a bunch of red wine 
See, I can no, nope, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, stay tuned because we have a lot more reactions for you guys. Remember to head over to Discord because we're going to be talking about Evil Dead. Of course, we are not going to be present for the Evil Dead Rise talk because we are going to commit to waiting until Evil Dead Rise comes out on streaming mm -hmm. so that way we can provide with you guys our real-time reaction to Evil Dead Rise. Yeah, because I know all you guys want to see me squirm. Uh, he's not gonna like it. He I'm already not. was like looking away. I'm not. <laughs> because that's the thing, like once you give Evil Dead uh, director's budget, mm -hmm. then it's they're gonna go boss the wall. That's it, we're done. All right, guys. Until next time, we have been your source for horror analysis, criticism, and spooky, okay, and sometimes kooky entertainment. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye.